Hello, and welcome to Missouri s and This video will give you an introduction to the living options on campus and all of the information you need to take care of your living arrangements for fall 2021. s believes that the out-of-class experience is an important component to your total education at the university. Living in university-approved housing provides academic and personal support, convenience, and access to resources that will be beneficial to you as you begin your college journey. We know there are skills you will develop while living in community living environments that will benefit you in both your career and your personal lives, including learning how to interact with a variety of people from various backgrounds, developing your communication skills, and navigating disagreements and conflict. In addition, we know through research both nationally and on our own campus that students who live in university-approved housing are more likely to persist at the university at higher rates and graduate more quickly than those living off campus. For these reasons, Missouri s and requires all undergraduate students to live in university-approved housing until one of the three conditions are met. The student turns 21 prior to the first day of classes for the term, the student completed 60 credit hours of academic work after high school, or the student completes four semesters living in university-approved housing. University-approved housing includes the following options. The Campus Christian House, known as CCH, and operated through the Campus Christian Fellowship Student Organization, provides housing in two separate facilities for men and women conveniently located just off campus. 20 fraternity and sorority chapters have houses located in various neighborhoods surrounding the campus. Most fraternities offer first-year students an opportunity to live in the house, but sorority houses are mostly reserved for sophomores and above. Most of you will live in the university residence halls, which offer a variety of housing options, including traditional, suite style, and apartment style options. First year students typically live in one of three buildings. Thomas Jefferson Hall, a traditional style hall with double and single rooms and community bathrooms, is located on the northern edge of campus with a convenient tunnel connecting it to the campus core. TJ houses approximately 800 students and has a dining room located on the first floor. Residential Commons is located at the corner of Bishop and University Drive and also has a tunnel connecting near the Havener Center. RC houses approximately 500 students in suite style housing and offers both double and single bedrooms. Avenue C, a convenience store, is located in the bottom level of RC2. University Commons, our newest building on campus, is located near RC and offers housing to approximately 400 students in primarily eight-person apartments. These apartments contain four double bedrooms, two bathrooms, a living room, and a full kitchen. A limited number of four-person single-bedroom apartments are available as well and typically are reserved for returning students. UC is also home to our honors floor, housing students who have been accepted into the honors program and wish to live together in this location. Two other housing options on campus are Minor Village and Rolla Suites, which are traditionally reserved for returning students only. The first step of the housing process is one you have likely completed at this point. When you pay your enrollment fees and sign up for an advising and registration session, you will also sign a housing agreement and indicate your preferences for residence halls, CCH, or fraternity and sorority housing. This housing agreement is required of all students regardless of where you plan to live and acknowledges that you understand the housing policy. Students interested in learning more about Christian campus housing or Greek options will have an opportunity to interact with representatives from these organizations during the resource fair at your advising and registration day. Those interested in living in Christian campus housing should apply through the Christian Campus Fellowship website at rallaccf.org. The organization reviews applications, selects their residents, and notifies Residential Life of who will be living in their facilities. Students interested in fraternity housing must be extended a bid for membership through the IFC informal recruitment process. Typically, men who are offered a bid prior to the start of the semester will move directly into the fraternity house. Meal plans vary based on the house, so please be sure to ask questions about the meal plans as you are exploring your options. Updated housing information is available on the Student Involvement website at involvement.mst.edu. Sorority housing is typically reserved for second-year students and beyond, but occasionally there are a few openings for first-year students. Sorority recruitment is a formal process which takes place at the start of the semester. Once bids for membership are extended, women may move into the sorority house if space exists. However, no first-year women will move into sorority houses prior to the start of the semester. Again, meal plans vary by house, so be sure to explore those options as you familiarize yourself with the different organizations on campus. For more information on the formal recruitment process, please visit the Panhellenic Council website at panhellenic.mst.edu. 
It is important to know that students notifying us after June 1st that they intend to move into a fraternity or sorority house will incur a cancellation fee. Information about these fees is noted in the Residential Life Terms and Conditions located on our website at reslife.mst.edu. A few of you may be seeking an exemption to the housing policy because you plan to live at home during the first two years. An exemption is available to students who choose to live at home with their parents or legal guardians who reside within 60 miles of the university. Students seeking these exemptions should complete an exemption request form located on our website at reslife.mst.edu. Forms should be submitted by June 1st in order to avoid any cancellation fees. For students planning to live in the residence halls, the second step of the process will be for you to complete the housing information form. This is where we collect your preferences for the building you wish to live in or any roommate requests that you may have. The housing interest form, or HIF, is typically open for completion between February 1st and May 1st. We will communicate with you through your ST email once this form is ready and available for completion. If you do not complete this by May 1st, we will assign you to a residence hall space without any ability to consider your preferences, so we encourage you to make sure you complete this in a timely manner. The form can be changed and updated any time within this period, so please feel free to make changes up until the May 1st deadline if needed. Those interested in Honors Housing should first make sure they have been accepted into the Honors Academy. Only those in the Honors Academy can be assigned to Honors Housing. Then you will need to preference both Honors Housing and University Commons on your HIF. When you complete your HIF, you will also have an opportunity to select which meal plan you would like. All students living in housing who are under 21 and have less than 60 hours are required to have a meal plan, and students living in TJ and RC, regardless of age, are required to have a meal plan. There are five meal plans available, and they provide a combination of either declining balance dollars or DVDs and meals. DVDs operate simply like a debit card. If you have 1,800 DVDs, that means you have $1,800 to spend in your dining areas. If a meal costs $8.75, 875 DVDs would be subtracted from your account. You can use DVDs at any dining facility on campus, including the Starbucks in the library, the three convenience stores on campus, or any other dining facility. If you use DVDs in the TJ All-You-Can-Eat cafeteria, there is a door price that you would pay in DVDs in order to eat in this facility. Meals operate slightly differently. You would use one meal when you go to the TJ Dining Room to eat. In the Havener Center Food Court, you can use a meal to purchase a certain combination of items. For instance, if you ate at the Mondo Sub Shop, you could purchase a sandwich, chips, and a drink for one meal. If you decided you also wanted an additional drink or snack, you would use your DVDs to purchase that extra item. Each of the stations in the Havener Food Court have combinations that can be purchased with a meal. You will use your ID card as your payment device for meals and DVDs. The meal plan offerings include two plans offering only DVDs, two plans offering a combination of meals and DVDs, and one plan that is an all-access plan. This plan allows students to eat in the TJ Dining Room at any time of the day. They can visit to get a drink, they can visit an hour later for lunch, and they can go back and visit for a snack and dinner. For students who plan to live in TJ and want the convenience of food on demand, this may be a useful plan for you. However, please be aware that this is the only plan that is restricted to TJ only. You will not be able to use this plan in the Havener Food Court. When choosing a meal plan, it is important to consider your eating habits. Are you a three meal a day person or do you always skip breakfast? How often do you plan to be away from campus? Do you plan to go home frequently on the weekends or do you have a job or other obligations that may take you away from campus frequently? Where you hope to live on campus may inform the type of meal plan you wish to request. We recognize that meal plan selection can be somewhat complicated, so if you find the plan you picked isn't working for you, you may easily change to another plan during the first two weeks of each semester. Students can keep track of their meal and DVD balances by downloading the Get app. In addition, they can use this app to order Papa John's pizza and pre-order meals from certain locations on campus. You can also use the Get app as a payment device. Housing assignments are typically released in late June for students who have completed their HIF by the May 1st deadline. Applications received after that time will continue to be processed on a rolling basis throughout the remainder of the summer. We will always communicate with you through your ST email address, so please make sure you are checking this account regularly and have this forwarded to an address you do check regularly. As a reminder, Senate Bill 754 requires that all students in public institutions of higher education and on-campus housing receive the meningitis vaccine. 
This includes all students living in residence halls, fraternity and sorority housing, and CCH. Waivers are available if needed for medical or religious reasons. Please make sure this information as well as your other vaccinations are uploaded to the Student Health Portal by July 15th. Information received after that time may result in delays during the check-in process. Please refer to the Student Health website at studenthealth.mst.edu for more information. If you have questions regarding any of this information or other questions about living on campus, please do not hesitate to contact our office by emailing us at reslife at mst.edu, calling at 573-341-4218, or checking out our website at reslife.mst.edu. We look forward to having you join our ST community.